so many storylines in the world of thoroughbred racing in 2014. Caleb Keller and I have put together our list, five each. Now we're going to combine those topics and go to the arbiter of what were the top 10 storylines in 2014. Brittany Erton, B Town, let me help you out here right away. Palace Malice has to be 10. I mean, Wait, here's the thing about Palace Malice. I'm, I'm no, he's coming here. back next year. I'm judge here. Uh, coming yeah, but, back next yeah, year. Yeah, but you're not talking about one of the greatest horses of our generation. Obviously, Wise Dan's a two time horse a year. He's got to be. Just put Palace Malice at 10. It's the thought behind Caleb, it. Caleb, Caleb. Three, three chimneys, to, buys sorry. an interest, and they say, instead of sending him right to that, we're bringing him back. I was going to do Brittany. that anyways. Thank I just you, don't Brittany. think he's going to come back the same again. You know, okay, so, but I want to hear Gulfstream Suffolk, Gulf Suffolk. What, what's the storyline okay, behind well, that Okay, well, Suffolk closes for good. Mm -hmm. Gulfstream takes over Calder Racecourse and calls it Gulfstream Park West. I think the story is about the trend of consolidation from an industry point of view. Maybe that's not something that reaches to the mainstream public, so... I, I, you know what? I'd be fine if you put that at nine. Just put it at nine. Put that's where I'm. That's where I'm going. I'm, okay, a, I'm a West Coast nine. girl, so and I, obviously we've seen a lot of tracks closing, but that's going to go in my nine. I think. Okay, I've got to put Breeders' Cup at Keeneland eight here Ooh, because eight? been waiting on it. Well, eight. Because been waiting on it. Should go up. I love Keeneland. It's my favorite track right. on the East Coast, but we haven't had Breeders' Cup there, so we don't truly know what's going to happen there. Let me see. Seven. Uh, I got to throw in the Low South Thoroughbreds. I think it's amazing how they've been getting shared belief. California Chrome stable there. But it's not top five for me. Let me close out the bottom half with, I'm going to go Del Mar yeah, Fall me. Okay. I loved it being Crosby season. I thought it was absolutely spectacular, but it's not making it into the top five. You guys want uh, to come back to the Dan. top five? Come back to Wise Dan, number five. Big effort there at Saratoga. Everybody's waiting at Keeneland. It's his home track. He misses the break. He comes along late to get the score. What about synthetics? What's your pull here, Todd? Oh, you know what? That should be a lower story. That should be five. Synthetics should go below mm. Wise Dan, Rosie, and Depravity. So put synthetics. Down. That's where I was going to yeah. go synthetics because Wise five. Dan holds a special place. Yeah, okay. In my heart. So uh, okay. no synthetics at Del Mar and at Keeneland. Yeah, that's a number five story. Now, for four, I'm toying between two stories. What's your Rosie and Depravity edge here? Uh, Rosie winning the fall title there at Keeneland, winning the distap, and then immediately after announcing her retirement, kind of went under the radar there, second half of the year. Yeah, what a Philly Steve. I put that one uh, four. I put that one four. Put Rosie and Depravity. I was trying four. to take my job as Vanna White and well, she's here. No, go for it. But I, he just knows. He must be reading my mind. I know where he's top go. Spot. I just want the top spot. Then, then Wise Dan should be three, because Wise Dan didn't make the Breeders' Cup. I put Wise Dan number three. So if you're going to give me your top three. three right now, go. Wise Dan, uh -huh. um, controversial classic, Steve Coburn. Okay. I'm going to go with the same. Steve Coburn, I think, is going to be on top. Oh, Heat of the that moment. That means that you win. Exactly. Look at that. Diplomatic okay. over here. Yeah, 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 like Watch. It. This is what I'm going to do here. I'm going to go comeback of Wise Dan. Yep. I think he's absolutely incredible. Well, it comes down to what's Two of them oh, Steve Coburn. Really? I'm oh, not going to give him the top spot. That was in June, and it went all the way to November. Spot. Redemption. But the controversial classic, nah. honestly, it got people more than just horse racing people talking about that's it. True. And I think that's great for the sport. And it may change the rules in California racing. So 100%. Yeah, yeah. It was definitely interesting. So that's a, the that's a top 10 list of our storylines from 2014.